you're watching Nasset and this is the hot seat and in the interest of Ghana must work Ghana can work we want Ghana to work like the video subscribe to the channel and forward to other Ghana loving Ghanaians collectively we make a difference welcome Professor Hang and his dollarization agenda that as you will notice Nasij on the hot seat we have called him out severally on the concern that his um, contributions or projections towards Ghana is biased and is with one purpose to um, gaslight Ghana into becoming dissatisfied with its or her economy and currency. And we uh, were bold to say that he is a propagandist and we still maintain so. And at this point, uh, if and when Professor Hank is hearing us at Nasich and on the hot seat, we invite him for an interview because as a uh, an exclusive Ghanaian channel. We want answers from him as to why he's doing what he's doing. But we've been doing our homework and we've been researching or listening to all the conversations uh, that uh, Professor Hank has been having all these years or for some period now and the interviews that he has honored with respect to what is called the emerging markets or the third world countries and we came across this channel on YouTube it's called the Institute of International Monetary and uh, they had an interview with uh, Professor Hank on these topics um, dollarization currency bots monetary competition in emerging markets and these are the answers Professor Han gives, which seems to confirm Nasij, the hot seat's assertion that Professor Han's projection about Ghana is not an attempt to help Ghana, but an attempt to subjugate Ghana's economy and currency to the U.S., where Ghana then dollarized. But let's go into it. In this interview, we decided to come up with this because many are Ghanaians that believe that Professor Hank wants to help Ghana. Nasij, the hot seat, we don't think so and we still maintain so. And again, we would that Professor Hank honors our invitation for an interview. Now, on fixed rate, he gave various options to what can be done. And this is what he has to say. First thing on his list is dollarization. And these are his words. Quote, get rid of the local currency. So, Professor Hanks' speculative um inflation figures that he's been putting across for Ghana and the continual attack on the Ghana city we believe is for one reason to get Ghana to get rid of its local currency I mean these are his own words dollarization get rid of the local currency that's what he said of course we'll put a link below this video so you can listen to it for yourself before Ghanaians jump around thinking that Professor Hank's projection or physician on Ghana's economy and currency is to help Ghana's currency become viable or competitive to the American dollar, you have to rethink. He is saying the attempt is to get rid of the local currency and that he believes is the fix. Now, we have this to say and I'll read it out. Remember this, 
In the absence of healthy competition, motivation and perseverance becomes abstract and success and alien to the participants. Mediocrity and failure becomes a norm. What we're trying to say is, if let's, ask, let's say that the continual attack on Ghana's economy and uh, currency has brought Ghana to its knees, uh, being dissatisfied with its economy and its currency, and then decides to dollarize. In effect, we are saying we don't want to improve. We are saying we don't want to manufacture. We are saying we don't want to do anything to compete if America is the greatest, which is debatable, especially in the time, in the shortest possible time, the amount of fiat currency Biden and his administration has printed. I don't see how getting all these emerging markets to dollarize is a sensible thing. So if American economy fails, the rest of the world fails. Anyway, Professor Hank, you have our invitation anytime. Let's carry on. And according to him, 33 countries have dollarized. These are his words. 33 countries. And he, he, Professor Hank, has helped. Dollarized Ecuador in year 2000 and El Salvador in 2001. So is Professor Hank's continual attack and the speculative projection of Ghana's inflation an attack on the words like Ghana's CD is a junk? I mean, those are some of the words you have used. It's just to get us to a point where we said Ghana City is not good enough, therefore dollar is what we should be spending. Anyway, it's good Ghana's government is making the move to say, and some I think Ghana should even stop those shops that continue to price their product in American dollar. That's unacceptable. It's Ghana. Whatever it is, give the value in CD equivalents. Ghana is a sovereign nation. Let's carry on. So perhaps maybe Professor Hank wants to retire and wants to add Ghana to his list of countries that he has succeeded in dollarizing, as we have said. His interest in Ghana, it is not to help Ghana, but to subjugate Ghana's economy to American economy. If not, what else? The next thing he has to say in that interview is currency board system. We talked extensively on this in one of our previous videos. Again, when we were talking about Professor Hanks, he's, he's attacked on uh, our, our vice president, our president, and some of the high-ranking officials within our government for not listening to his advice. <laughs> Look, this is the thing. When you advise an independent individual, an institution, or an entity, the advice is subject to be taken. But when you begin to manipulate the advice to coerce this individual entity or a country into accepting your advice as a viable option, that is propaganda. That is manipulative. If what you're suggesting is the currency board is the way for Ghana, we are intelligent enough to come to that conclusion. It shouldn't be you sending speculative figures, 154 uh, inflation, which some Ghanaians believe and accept it, though, but I don't, and many others don't. Currency board we've already talked about as it's, an, it's, it's a colonial system 
instrument or two to help with the, the, the assurance that the proper issue of the denominations for the various countries and a way to generate revenue is achieved. Ghana is not a colonial nation. Doesn't matter what you think Ghana is or is not. It's a sovereign country. Why do you want us to? You can go and read it. It's on IMF. It's on our channel. If you want to listen to what we have to say about the currency board and those that have gone on those roads, what is it to say about the economy in the now? Except the fact that, of course, you, yeah, um, some business people in Ghana may be happy to say, oh yeah, let's dollarize. But competition, competition will soon be out of the door. Nobody would like to industrialize. We just have to import everything to America. And that's it. We don't want to stay there too much. And in that system, this is what he has to say. He said it's a fixed exchange rate, local currency. In effect, Ghana CD anchored to the US dollar at a predetermined rate. So there's no competition. None at all. Because I know the predetermined rate. I'm not going to strive to be better. I'm not going to do, Ghana will not do anything to get better than America because you've been given this ceiling that you can't go beyond. Who said Ghana's currency cannot be better than American currency? But that's his suggestion. And we are all buying it. The last time I checked, Ghana wants to be better. The last time I checked, Ghana wants to be great because Ghana is a great nation. Blessed with all the natural resources that forms the backbone of most nations around the world. Historically, 70 countries had operated the currency board system. But in the now, only 15 still in operation. Ask yourself why. And Professor Hag doesn't like the idea. And this is what he have to say. He said, after the Second World War, countries want to get rid of everything that was colonial. Of course. They are not under colonial rule. Why do you want them to operate under the colonial system? Anyway, Professor Hank is not happy with that. Hence, countries ditched the currency board system. Quote, that's what Professor Hank said. And this is what he said again. Currency board has no monetary policy and no fixed, no fine tuning required. In effect, he's saying central banks have to do fine tunings and do things to give, keep the economy and the currency performing. What did I say? When there's healthy competition, people will improve. They find ways to improve. They try new things. But in the absence of healthy competition, mediocrity becomes a norm. Failure is a standard that everybody accepts. But I don't think that's the road Ghana wants to get onto. He then went on to say, he believes that central bank is an idea of the IMF to give the boys, I don't know which, which boys he's talking about, the central bank boys, I think, to give the boys jobs. The link to the video is in the description. This is the hot seat. You're watching the hot seat. Let's carry on. So what we're trying to say is that we have to be careful before we jump on the bandwagon just because Professor Hank said it is. Remember this, Professor Hank, born and bred and battered in America, he might have gone to other countries to help. According to him, he has helped some other economies in doing or changing or dollarizing whatever it is that he has done. But he is American trained. He's, he understands American economy. Whatever he does, whether with good intentions or not, his mentality and mindset is to preserve the ideologies, the ideas of America. 
So what on earth do you think Professor Hank is going to do for Ghana to beat America if that is an option? Remember this. The Western economy, economics is set up to be vicious to Ghana's economy and Africa for that matter. Believe it or leave it. You should be delusional huh, to think it is not. To us, Professor Hank's interview on Institute of International Monetary on YouTube, which the link is below, is, is, is purely a, a, an attempt to create this situation of continual economic servitude to the so-called emerging markets or the emerging markets, in other words, the third world countries. Economic servitude. Just that's all it is. Don't grow bigger than America. Everybody desired to be great. Everybody desired to do better. And in that desire, you try things. You fail sometimes. You try again. And we believe America tried over years and years and years to come to where they are now, even though the current system means that print more fiat money. In the shortest possible time, how much American dollar has been printed, Professor Hang? And what do you have to say about that? This is the hot seat. You're watching the hot seat. A purely patriotic channel talking about Ghana and people, both internationally and domestically. Anyway, we don't want to take this ride too long. Nice and short and precise, purely based on what we have heard Professor Hank said, which confirms our previous videos that we have made because of his assertion and attack on our political leadership, economy, and currency. The end game is to dollarize Ghana, which I don't think that's what we want. We want competition. We're not looking for freebies. We can handle every pressure, I believe. At least I think I can. That's all we have for you. Till we come your way. This is the whole seat. And in the interest and in the spirit of Ghana must work. Ghana can work. We want Ghana to work. Like the video. Subscribe to the channel. And forward to other Ghana loving Ghanaians. And please. Let's all pay attention. And do our little bits from every corner. Every little helps. It's a company that says that. And it's true. From our own small places, let's make a difference. See you in our next episode.